I will click on like uh, button and checkout. So graph is chaining. So if I click on browser button, so graph is chaining. So the values are chaining and the graph is chaining. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Ali Raza and welcome to my YouTube channel uh, Marketing Chamber. Today I am going to discuss with you very very important uh, content. So that is analysis of custom reports that uh, we uh, export the custom reports uh, usually but how to analyze the data how to conclude from that data from that raw data so that is the main thing so in this video i will discuss with you that how to analyze the data how to analyze the custom reports how to share like what you conclude uh, from the custom reports and to share with your client okay so uh, i have opened the custom reports uh, from analytics okay so then uh, suppose that I am um, like uh, want the email funnel uh, by flow like performers uh, by the flows uh, I, I am exporting this uh, like custom board so here uh, you can uh, like add other methods also like I want to check that uh, email bounce rate also and I want like unsubscribe rate also so uh, you can also add that okay so then I will click on save and run report. So then uh, it will be like uh, present here after some time and then uh, we will export it in the form of CSV. Okay, so I will export it. So along with it, uh, I am going to open the Google Sheet. Okay, so, so I will uh, like show you that how you can do this uh, in the Google Sheets because uh, Google Sheets are easy uh, to analyze the data and so I will click on go to Google Sheets so then I will click on blank sheet okay so after that we will import the exported CSV so I will click on uh, like uh, file and then I will click on import okay so after that uh, uh, it will take some time so then uh, there will be the option the upload so then uh, i will upload like uh, the file that we have exported right now from the clavio so we'll go to the download so here is that so i will click on it okay so so then again click on import data so this was like a simple up till uh, now uh, it was simple but now the next part starts from here so the, uh, how to analyze the data okay so first of all uh, uh, I will like uh, name name node uh, I will bold that like top uh, header as bold so that we can uh, like uh, see the clearly uh, the name of every like column okay so this was the first thing so now what is the next thing uh, to analyze the data uh, we can like filter out the data so how you can filter out so uh, so uh, from here you can see this option this is the filter so here you are seeing that in every option there is no like other icons or symbols so as I will click on it so there you will see like in every column there are three lines so these are the like filters so how these filters will work like uh, if I click on it so uh, like I want to here you can see these are all the flows so if I want that I don't want to uh, like see the data for the welcome series uh, okay customer versus not customers I don't want to uh, see the data for sunset engagement uh, because I uh, suppose I want to uh, be focused on other flows except these flows so I will click on ok so as you can see these uh, two uh, flows are like subtracted from this okay so if again you want to like uh, get them back so again we'll uh, come here and click on it click on it and okay so in that way you can like uh, uh, filter out so here is the like sort A to Z uh, like you can uh, use can uh, this also okay so different arrangement so filter by color so I will show you that how you have to use the filter by color option okay filter by condition so here you can see uh, like other options filter by condition 
so uh, you can also use uh, it also like it is the text case so you can use this text contain text does not contain text starts with ends with text is exactly okay so you can uh, use this option also so this was the like text based uh, filter so uh, if i uh, want to use this option like with the value so i will click on it okay so here you can also use uh, a to z option like z to a option like values will be on upside and zero will be downside so sort by color i will show you soon and so then filter with condition so like if i want to like uh, yes greater than i want to show the value uh, that are greater than one, uh, zero okay so here you can see all the values that are greater than zero are uh, appear here okay so it is very very like uh, uh, very good uh, functions uh, 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 to explore uh, to analyze the data okay so uh, then uh, you can like filter by values also like if you want to see uh, these values so you can uh, like uh, if you want to uh, like remove anyone so you can click on it and you can remove that like if there are zeros so uh, like you can like select uh, all uh, uh, disable them just with uh, this option and you can select all this with this option okay so in this way you can explore these options uh, like filters so this was the first thing that i want to show you so now second is how to use filter by color so for that you have to uh, like uh, uh, you have to give the colors of the cells with the uh, on the base of different values so then you can use like suppose i want to give all the zero uh, cells a different color like i want to give it color uh, and this one okay so again i have to select uh, this uh, and i have to select this and give it color so this is the first thing uh, you have to do if you want to use uh, like uh, color so this one so uh, and i want to uh, like uh, add the other values a different color like uh, these are first let me colorize it so it is okay just to show you because it is it will take time also so as your time may be important so so like i want to give uh, these two values are similar so i want to give them a color like this one and this is the also like uh, that value so i will give this color okay so suppose suppose that i want to all these values a uh, different color like this is the green so how you have to like uh, uh, filter out this uh, okay so i will click on it fill sort by color fill color so here these are three colors available that are uh, available in this uh, column like green white and this color okay so you can uh, like uh, sort it uh, with this uh, color anywhere like here you can see the green at the top so now i will click on orange so here you can see uh orange green and the white okay so in this way uh, you can uh, orange green white in this way you can like set that okay so filter by color fill color so same is seen here so in that way you can uh, like uh, filter out the data based on the color and you can like e easily visualize like which values are the zero which values are greater than zero so or whatever strategy you use and wherever you want to use like for the flows for the live draft uh, whatever so this was the second thing that i want to show you with you so now the next thing is very important so uh, and the last thing it, it will be pro important for you and that was will be the like dynamic graph that how you will change one value and along with it other values will be changed so it will be easy for you and as we uh, deal with the dynamic blocks so uh, dynamic blocks are easy to us and uh, like uh, are perfect to us to use so same is the dynamic graph here so i will show you so here is the next option uh, explore so what is this this is like artificial intelligence uh, like option so uh, whatever the data you import in the google sheets it calculates some values uh, just for you uh, automatically like here you can see these are the values draft live manual average of total 
okay so uh, these are other things like along the uh, flow id okay so here are different total recipients operate so this is like count of stairs draft live and this is the manual okay so and the more important is that you can ask any like question here uh, you can see here these are the questions uh, list unique values so i want like a maximum uh, open rate so answer is 0 0.633 so this is the maximum open rate uh, from this okay so as you can see this is the maximum open rate so uh, so if you want to see the formula so click on it and this is the formula so similarly you can ask uh, other questions also so uh, most probably it will answer your questions uh, and very quickly so this is the like third thing so now what so uh, now uh, let's discuss last uh, and the very important part is that is the dynamic graph so how we can do this so what is the dynamic graph uh, maybe i have told you before but again uh, let me share so dynamic graph is that if you uh, like uh, vary some one variable so then uh, along uh, with it other values should be changed like uh, uh, i want to uh, like set uh, uh, like uh, customer win back so then i want to uh, check the total recipients operate click rate for that specific case so if i switch from uh, like win back to check out flow based on the dollar value so then these values should be changed for that flow okay so this is a simple thing so you will be cleared uh, when we will uh, do it a uh, live okay so so what you have to do so first thing is you have to select any empty cell like i have selected so then you have to go to the data and click on data validation and here you have to select that range like you want to vary and you want to check that uh, like data as i want to vary the variable uh, like flow names so i have selected uh, their names so okay and save so here you can see this is the like arrow and these are the flows so i click on uh, like select one so you can uh, you have to like select one because uh, otherwise uh, there will be an error if we uh, when we will go uh, again uh, next okay so now what's, uh, what is the next so i can uh, give it name like flow name okay and bold it so now next i want to like check operate click it okay so total recipient and like unsubscribe rate so i uh, suppose that i want uh, to show you these values because uh, just to save the time so if you understand uh, these values so you can do anything so what you have to do so we have to use function vlookup for this case so i have to uh, add equal sign and vlookup okay so then what we have to do so first you have to click on this uh, cell so i have selected comma so then we have to add the range like the data of the flow okay so i have selected so then comma again and then as i have uh, like i am going to check operate so i have to give the number of the column for the open rate like here is the open rate so one column second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh so i have to give the value seventh comma and false and bracket close so click on so price drop notification open rate is uh, like price drop notification uh, open rate is like zero okay so if i like shift to like a uh, customer win back so uh, and let me change so customer win back increase time delay like uh, this is the flow uh, yes customer win back so for this case open rate is 0 0.1 so browser abundant case uh, let me check browser abundant case so so here you can see so this is the far browser abundant so as i am changing one value so others are changing so now uh, again we have to click on uh, like here we look up okay so again i have to select this cell comma and select the data so uh, next i will show you that how we have we can make graph also that will change dynamically and the comma 
and this is like for create so this is uh, like 7 and this is the 8 comma and false like it. so click create so browse abundant so for that click create is this one so for this one uh, like total recipients so we look up I will click on select and the data like range okay so comma and this is the air comma and false okay so again for like unsubscribe date we look up and I have to select the cell oh no we look up so cell comma and after that I will show you the graph that will uh, change dynamically so this is like 9 comma and false okay so this this is like uh, how you can change uh, one value and the other values will be changed okay so here you can see for the welcome series so here is the welcome series and the for uh, like total recipients and uh, like uh, like open rates, uh, total recipients are not uh, good. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So for that case, the column number is six. So here you can see like total recipients are nine. Unsubscribe rate is uh, zero, and the click rate is uh, like welcome series, and the click rate is. Uh, uh, like 0 0.11 and the operator is 0 0.44 so if uh, there there may be some error so then you can check the column number and uh, like it will uh, work uh, correctly so how we have to make the data so you have to like uh, click on this okay so I will go to the here and I will go to the column chart and I will click on this one okay so as you can see the graph is changing okay so if i like change the value so it will show me the data uh, different uh, like if uh, yes uh, here it's okay so welcome series so i will click on like uh, button and checkout so graph is changing so if i click on browser button so graph is changing so the values are changing and the graph is changing so in that way, uh, you can like uh, analyze the custom reports uh, easily and you can conclude so uh, from the reports easily. So uh, this is this was the like very important video, I think, uh, for you uh, if you are dealing with email marketing. So if you find some good thing from this video and you don't have subscribed my channel, so kindly do subscribe, stay tuned, stay happy. Thank you.